Hello, I am going to show you the projectile path tracing asset for the Unreal Engine 4 Marketplace. Uh, what it does is visually display a prediction of the path that a physics projectile uh, will take. As you can see here, this is uh, very useful for grenades or arrows or perhaps some sort of uh, physics based puzzle game, being able to display exactly where an object will go and where it will land. Uh, what you see here is the basic first person shooter project which I've made a couple of adjustments to uh, to incorporate the asset. Uh, you can actually adjust the force here that will be applied to the projectile and you can see it's updating in real time. And still completely accurate. Also it actually uh, I've added two different modes of fire. Uh, there's this basic one here with the gravity applied and then a second one with no gravity at all like a bullet. It'll just travel straight forward and uh, you can see it's still accurately displaying exactly where it'll go. This should work with, uh, theoretically, any projectile or physics object. It's I'm not controlling the motion of the object at all. It's just uh, predicting everything uh, with math based on a few inputs. It takes the uh, initial location you're firing the projectile from, the velocity to be applied to it, and uh, also the mass if... Uh, the f kind of force you're using would actually use that, like add impulse, for example, uh, would be affected by the mass of the object, so you would want to use it there. You can also switch the uh, effect of gravity on and off in case you have something like this where there's not actually any gravity being applied to it. And this is all being done by just uh, a single blueprint actor that you would uh, spawn and destroy through the player. You can see when I hold down the fire button I'm spawning the actor that displays the, uh, the, the predicted path here and goes through all of the, the necessary math. Then when I let go and fire I'm just getting rid of the actor because it's no longer needed. So I'm now going to show you a simple example of how to add the asset into your project. Well, the first step would be to go into the example project and you want to migrate over the path uh, folder there to add it into your own project and then uh, this is just the basic first person shooter uh, that I'll be adding it into here. Uh, it's going to be a little quick and dirty. Um, don't need this. Let's get that out of the way. And let's move this down. here. In fact, let's just get rid of this. Okay. Now, first of all, uh, we're going to make it so that the projectile will actually get launched when you release the button instead of when you press it. And when you press it, we will create the uh, path predictor. So let's see here. We will spawn actor and just give it a basic get actor transform. The location here is mostly irrelevant. I choose the blueprint trajectory. Okay. Now, uh, the actual, uh, let's add this real quick, the uh, event that needs to run every frame, uh, call function, calculate trajectory. Okay, now this uh, actually needs to run every frame if it's going to keep updating the position every frame. So let's do an event tick here, and I think the most efficient way to approach this would be to have a gate and 
it'll attempt to run through there each frame and when you press the button initially and spawn this it will open the gate and allow this to run and when you release the button and it's no longer there we'll just close the gate back up okay so you see the inputs here we just need the location the velocity and uh, we don't need the mass because it's using the uh, projectile component uh, to create the velocity so it doesn't actually use mass we'll just keep that at one and it will be using gravity so we'll leave that on so uh, getting the location is easy enough we'll just uh, grab this here and plug it straight in that is the position the projectiles can spawn from now to get the actual velocity of it there will be a couple of other little steps here uh, let's open up the projectile here and let's see the component you can see it has an initial speed of 3000 which is what we need so first of all let's do another vector rotation just do basic x value which should be directly forward relative to the camera it's facing uh, this has a bunch of offsets built into it for getting the location so we don't want to just use the same thing there then we need to multiply this by the speed which would be 3000 and then this should work for the velocity okay yes all of this looks good all right, now when we go in game and hold down the fire button, it should predict where it will go, and then when we let go, it will launch it. So let's see. Hold the button down. And he's... Oh. Uh, oh, yes. I forgot one step. We need to uh, destroy the actor after releasing the button. So... go and just run that into there let's try that again okay and you can see it's completely accurate it uh you can see it's coming from a very strange position but uh that's because the projectiles are actually being launched from a very strange position in the base project uh, it is completely accurate if you look closely you can see them coming from down there in the corner So there you go.